when I was practicing in Florida, one of the chief justices at the time, a brilliant man, I heard him give a talk about the death penalty, and he says, you, you know, we, we say that it has a deterrent effect. That's the argument, that somehow by having the death penalty, people will not commit these crimes. And he says, you know, I've read the transcripts now from trials in thousands of these cases. And what I see is people leaving evidence all over the place. It usually doesn't take the police more than a, a few hours to catch the person. I mean, sometimes it does, but most often it doesn't. If anybody was thinking about uh, what the consequences of their action were, they sure didn't do a very clear job thinking because they leave a trail right to them, nine times out of ten. Um, he said it makes absolutely no sense that there's a deterrent effect. And just imagine, can you imagine the circumstances where you're there and you've got a gun or a knife or whatever it is in your hand, and someone says, if you pull that trigger, you're going to be sentenced to death. And that's going to have a substantial difference than if you said, if you pull that trigger, you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Oh, I see. Well, I only have life in prison. I'll shoot him. But death penalty, no, I won't. You know, this idea that it has a deterrent effect is, we have a name for that in, in the field of psychology. It's called insanity.